And good morning everyone, welcome back to another road trip video with the Outlander PHEV here in sunny, hot Australia. Yeah, we are going to do our usual dentist run today. We have uh, three dentist appointments, uh, not for me, but for them. So, fixing computer stuff. And um, so, first of all, we have to go to Lowood, and then we go to Fernvale, and there may be another appointment in Walloon. So, quite, um, it's quite a tour. Well, because I'm late again this morning, I should be there by 9, and it's um, 8.59, so I've got one minute. <laughs> I have also forgotten to take the phone with the PHEV watchdog with me. We don't have the watchdog with me on the road trip. How good am I prepared for this trip? Amazing, right? Okay, so we have only the built-in uh, controls and numbers here now. 42 kilometers on pure electric and 320 total range, which the car gives us. So what I will do now, I will drive in full electric to Lowood which should be totally fine. We should arrive there with about 40% left of the battery. And uh, then it's only a short drive to uh, Fernvale to the next stop over. And then we have to decide if we do the uh, uh, long balloon run as well. Oh, we have to use the ice engine a bit to get there uh, because we have to drive highway a little bit as well. Uh, there's water over the road here. That's not how it's supposed to be. So anyway, we have to uh, improvise a little bit this morning <laughs> without the watchdog. I don't know what percentage I'm on. I'm driving blind, so to speak. <laughs> That's probably the first time in uh, 112 years that I have not the watchdog with me. So uh, it'll be interesting. Well, at least here with the energy monitor in the dashboard, we can see how much power the motors are using. So it gives you an indication as well if you drive efficiently or not. So at the moment, I'm setting the cruise control to uh, 80 kilometers here. And you can see the car uses less than 15 kilowatts of energy. Now a little bit downhill here, and it goes even down to five, six kilowatts only. So this gives you another good indication of how you drive at the moment, how much energy you are using with the car. And we have uh, 21 degrees outside at the moment at uh, 9 o'clock. I have the climate control, the HVAC is totally turned off at the moment. I don't need any airflow in here. There's a bit of air coming in, um, but obviously no air condition, no heating on. So the left dial here doesn't show any energy usage at all. And we are getting close to Lowood now. This is the last uh, downhill stretch to the little township. And we've used more than half of the batteries and we've got 18 kilometers, 19 kilometers left on the gum. Yeah, so I guess we are about, um, but hey, that's how mo most people drive like. They don't have a PHEV watchdog and they drive just the car like this. You can survive without the PHEV watchdog, but it's hard. So weird, I don't need to turn off the dog now. Don't put the mobile phone away because it's not here. I, idiot, have forgotten the mobile phone with a PHEV watchdog. <sighs> Oh, well guys, so we are back in the car. I cannot even tell you if we have um, lost some kilometers now while parking or not because so it feels so weird. I cannot give you any information about the car. I mean, at the end, the car okay. or whatever, whatever. The, all the information are available on the canvas on the of the car here, but the control panel here in the dashboard doesn't not show you this information. So it would be an easy step to. So it would be an easy thing to upgrade the software and the MMC and provide more information for the driver. Maybe with an advanced menu or something and you can see all the details in there, you know. Could be an option. So this was our first appointment here in Lowood. We are driving now to Fernvale and do the same setup over there. 
We've got uh, 30 degrees outside already at 10.22. It is quite warm already. But we did not lose or gain any kilometers. It's still on 18 kilometers here. And I'll probably engage the engine right now. So now we're driving in parallel ice mode, hybrid mode. And you can see um, the engine is driving the front wheels as expected and also recharge the battery. But we don't know how much power it actually provides to the battery now. And there's no indication on here which gives you any information about the charging power into the battery. Yeah, so we're driving now in full electric mode here. Always save the EV power for the slower parts of your journey as a general rule. So you can make it, um, it's far more efficient to drive electric now than on a highway or in higher speeds. All right, so we have now arrived here in Fernvale, um, 15 kilometers on the gasometer. All right, let's get this done here and then we see if we have to go to um, Balloon. All right, guys, so we are back in the car. Everything sorted. We don't need to go to Balloon today. They are quite ready, so we can drive home. Uh, let's do some quick um, stats here. So our battery is about at 30% level, about 14 kilometers left. Hmm. Okay, I'll turn on the engine again in between Fernvale and Lowood again. And then we drive pure electric through Lowood, of course. Don't want to pollute anyone in this area. And then we um, yeah, just use the rest energy and drive in hybrid mode back home. And let's see what the actual consumption is. So far, we have 1.6 liters only. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, so 31 degrees. And I've got the air condition to 26 and the circulation is turned on, of course. I made a video a while back about um, having the circulation on or off, what the difference is in energy consumption is, if you are interested in that. If you want to save energy, have the circulation on if possible. Okay, uh, let's try something different. I've got 11 kilometers left here. Uh, I can I can drive to Lowood without starting the engine in between. So let's do that. We can maybe just make it through Lowood in full EV range and then drive in hybrid mode for the rest of the journey. And now while driving here, temperature has increased to 34 degrees after five minutes of driving. Uh, it can't be the hot engine or so. The engine wasn't turned on for quite a while now. That's how hot it is outside already. That is insane, not normal. Climate change is happening right now. So I think our strategy worked out quite well. We've got six kilometers left here on the GOM and we are in Lowood now. That says it, welcome to Lowood. Yeah, we can drive these uh, six kilometers now here on pure electric through town don't pollute anything especially here next to the primary school here so that's good and the overall consumption has dropped to 1.3 liters overall for today down to one kilometer on the gasometer here so the engine may kick in at any time. I can't tell you what um, state of charge we are in at the moment, but it will be close to 30, 31% now. We're down to 1.1 liter per 100 kilometers now so far. Ah, there he is, engine comes in, blue arrow at the top. Engine is warming up. Ah, see, I have just turned now here and the engine has turned off already because we were going slow. And then the engine turns off still one kilometer and that's exactly what I don't like that's why I usually press the charge button let me do this now and keep some energy in the battery so I can determine I can decide when the engine actually starts and I don't have to rely on the automatic setting in the car because the automatic setting is not optimal it doesn't know where you are going to drive what comes what comes next have you got elevation are you going downhill have you got headwind, all this kind of stuff, you know? So the engine does what the BMU or the ECU tells the engine to do. 
start at this charge level stop at this charge level regardless where you are and I don't like this I don't like I like more to drive manually and have control when the engine kicks in so I'm now in charge mode I will charge up the battery to about uh, three or four kilometers and then I will flick it into safe mode for convenience but you can also drive you can also drive in uh, charge mode uh, for quite a while and charge the battery up to about 10 15 20 kilometers and then turn off the engine and then use these 10 15 20 kilometers again this is also very efficient because the engine runs, uh, runs quite for a while so it has time to heat up the uh, catalytic converter runs optimal in the optimal um, temperature state everything runs optimal and you can do the same uh, like this so you can manually charge the battery up and then use this energy again it all depends what is your next um, destination where do you drive to are you going on high-speed roads are you going through towns or cities it all depends you can do everything you want that's great so the uh, second blue bar just came on of the battery gauge and that means you have exactly 35% state of charge of the battery I made a video a while back uh, called the last blue bar or something so I showed all the status statuses states of the blue bar and explained what kind of state of charge you are in then compared this with the dog but now 35% and we've got four kilometers excuse the dust here on the display four kilometers if you can't read this uh, you just have to believe me the car already slowing down here and turning we've got four kilometers on the gum it should be plenty yeah we've got two blue bars so one blue bar so 35% should be plenty of energy to get me back home and fuel uh, pure electric now for the last couple of hundred meters so we stayed under three liters per hundred kilometers it may drop to 2.8 maybe 2.7 again while driving now but this is pretty much it well, I pushed it too far the engine just kicked in on the last hill before home um, I should have driven more carefully I didn't factor in the air condition is actually turned on uh, yep yeah, so <laughs> there was one more start of the engine which um, shouldn't have happened <laughs> oh well this was an interesting drive without the PHEV watchdog no numbers and figures this time I could pay attention fully to the traffic this time I'm just kidding anyway 2.8 liters we've used for a distance of uh, let me just okay so the uh, single trip from home to Fernvale is uh, 32 kilometers so 64 all in total and we have used uh, 2.8 liters for uh, one full initial charge I cannot give you any more details <laughs> I'm I'm feeling naked without the dog and all these information really this is a little bit um, that's not too that's not that's not enough for me well 84 percent on a trip of 64 kilometers i could have done better but i was late this morning so i hammered the car a little bit i drove faster than i would usually do on this road not over speed limit but just faster didn't let the car coast that much so we may potentially could uh, push it down to two liters if i drive really economically with the car but i mean it's still a good result and the car is I mean in comparison to any ice vehicle or something oh what have I done now in comparison to any ice vehicle out there 2.8 liters per this for for this drive is superb you would have at least used five six seven eight liters or even more depending on the vehicle you drive so again the PHEV is one of the most economical cars I've ever driven even on this hybrid situations it is it is very very fuel efficient okay guys so far this video from today i just want to give you some uh, thoughts about how i drive what i think when i drive when i turn on the ice engine this is all what i think to be as efficient as possible with any car 
so I let the car coast and um, yeah use the save and charge button accordingly depending on the situation and the um, uh, roads I'm driving on um, as always guys thank you so much for watching thanks for all your support this is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off you stay charged drive electric and we will see us again in the next video very soon okay see you then bye bye